Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. Today I want to teach you guys a fun hack for your freestanding border punches. In order to create this look, you're going to need one of our freestanding punches that remains attached to the paper, a couple scraps of um, paper or cardstock, and then your repositionable tape runner. So when I say that you need to make sure that the design remains attached to your paper, the best way to figure that out is by looking at your um, the decal on your punches, what I call whale tail. You see how this is solid blue? That blue sort of represents the paper that you are punching, and this means that this is going to remain attached, and anything that is silver is going to be cut away. So our diamond arches border punch is an example of a punch that will remain attached to your paper. Whereas something like the seashell punch, you can see that there is a clear silver base at the top and bottom of the whale tail. So this will become a chain and detach from your paper. This is very similar to how our border maker cartridges work and I did a video on how to decode those. If you would like a little more information, make sure you check the description for that link or I'll insert a card right here. Okay, to get started, you're going to need a two and a half by 12 inch strip of paper. This is what we're actually going to cut our border out of. And then you'll need two sheets of um, scraps that are two by 12 inches and two and a quarter by 12 inches. So we don't need these two right now. I'm just gonna set those aside and we're gonna focus our attention on our two and a half by 12 inch strip. The first thing we're going to do is cut our border out of one side. So normally, when you put your sheet of paper on the border tray, it'll stick out the edge and you'll know where to start. So the two and a half inches is a little shallow. So you'll want to tilt the um, punch up a bit so you can make sure that you're lining the edge of your paper with these black marks. If your paper is dark or the room you're working in is dark, that's okay. Another way to check to make sure you're lining up properly is to flip it upside down. You wanna make sure that your paper comes all the way to that edge of the box so that you can start the, your design. All right, that looks good to me. I'm gonna give it a punch. Lots of punch poop comes out of this one. Just gonna sweep that aside. I'm gonna put the punch on my tabletop now, and I'm gonna slide my strip of paper, and you're gonna to wanna to slide until you are completely covering up the design on the base. Now, with repetitive designs like this, it can be a little confusing, but they build in this little fail safe. Do you guys see this tiny little triangle? Um, this is not part of the design, but it's part of, it'll punch into your paper. And that is how you know that you have lined it up properly when that little triangle design is also covered up. So once you have lined up your design, you'll just punch, slide, and repeat. All right, so we have done one half of our design. Here's where the cool little hack comes in. Now we're going to take our punch, we're gonna take our paper and we're going to turn it 180 degrees. So the part you just punched is facing towards you and you have a clean, fresh edge facing towards your punch. And you're gonna repeat the process you just did. Um, again, now our, our paper is even skinnier and it's gonna be hard to line up on those lines. This is where we'll flip it over. We'll make sure that the edge of our paper is on that silver box. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I'm gonna give it a punch. Sweep away some of that punch poop. Alrighty. And then I can put my punch on the table, slide, match my design, punch and repeat until I get to the edge of my paper. So 
so here we are. We've now taken a single sided border and turned it into a double. Isn't that really beautiful? Again, this is the Diamond Arches decorative border punch, but this will work with just about any of our decorative border punches that remain attached to your paper. The one thing you might have to change is the thickness of that initial strip. All right, so now that we've got um, this border, I mean, this border by itself is so beautiful and would work well on a border by itself. Isn't that nice? But if you wanted to give it a little more dimension, then we would just adhere it to um, some of our other papers. So I'm gonna use my repositionable tape runner. And actually I'm gonna put, I'm just putting this down as a base to protect my work surface. And I'm gonna center that. This is a two inch strip. And I'm just gonna center it in the middle. The beauty of our repositionable is if you don't get it right the first time, you can always lift and reposition. All right. And then I'll add some repositionable onto the back of this. And I'm going to put it in the center of this two and a quarter inch strip. And just like that, we have a beautiful, really simple border. I mean, that took what, like a couple minutes to shell that out? Um, depending upon the colors you use, you can really change the design. Again, switch out the punch and it'll look very different as well. What did you guys think of this hack? Have you guys ever used our border punches to do a double-sided border? Is there another tool that you would love for us to use in a video? Thank you all for tuning in. I'd love for you to like and subscribe if you're new. And if you never want to miss a video, make sure you guys hit that bell as well. I'll see you next week. Bye.